so I just went to uh, uh, <laughs> okay so I just went to a bong store I got an iced coffee with oat milk and I went to Valley Village because I had some donation and I went to a dollar store four stores I did um, yeah let me show you what I got I got coffee filters because I'm gonna start making my own iced coffee so I have to make coffee somehow I don't really know how, but coffee filter seems like a good place to start, and it feels like something I should have, just in case anyways. Just, you know. So I'm going to put in the emergency stuff, and if it comes in handy when I make iced coffee, I know it is. And the emergency stash that we have has come in so handy. So last night we were like, fuck, we don't have any mayonnaise. And I know mayonnaise is the grossest thing in the world, and it's not a fun thing to talk about, and most people don't like mayonnaise, especially when you know what it is. Um, but we wanted mayonnaise with, like, chicken nuggets, because, like, that's how you bread chicken better. So we did that, and I thought that we had no mayonnaise, but we had some in the emergency stash. We actually had a Costco size. So we not only had, like, a gigantic vat of mayonnaise, we had been, like, stinging and using it, like, barely at all for the last couple times that we used mayonnaise, because we know that we were almost out. Is that silly? But now, the problem is, we have to go get some more mayonnaise for our emergency stash. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the toss-up. So it's like handy until you have to like compensate. I'll go through the dollar store since I already showed you coffee filters. I also got my friend's gift bag and a card for her. She's turning 40. I can't believe it. She looks like she's my age or younger. And she's turning 40. I'm 27, for the record. Um, what else did I get at the dollar store? I also got these salad uh, tossers at the dollar store. I've never had those, and they were only a dollar, and I was like, <coughs> fuck it, today's the day. I'm getting... Okay, so what else? I also got this little cat grass kit. So I'm going to make my own little cat grass for Gilly. I don't know how that's going to work, but I think I've tried to do this before, but I think I might have thrown it out preemptively. I'm going to do this, like, right away. Cat grass. Okay, so all I do is, good lord, gradually add a cup and three quarters of warm water in the base of the tray, fluff the soil with a pencil to ensure proper aeration, sow seeds by putting them lightly, three sixteenths of a millimeter, or five millimeters, oh, three sixteenths of an inch, or five millimeters into the mix. If top of soil looks too dry, lightly sprinkle water on it, do not overwater. Place dome on tray and keep in warm location away from direct sunlight. Warm location away from direct sunlight. Okay, I was going to put it right in the sun, so I think I read this. <laughs> when all seeds have sprouted, remove dome and place in a sunny location. Keep moist, do not overwater. So, put water in it, put seeds in it, and then put it not in sunlight. In warm location. My whole place is kind of like the same temperature, so I hope that's fine. Um... So gift bag, card, cat grass, coffee filters, salad mixer, tongs, and then some wild bird mix. I used to have this like wild bird seed, but I noticed a bunch of the birds didn't like like half of it. They don't like a bunch of the stuff in it, but they did like all of the sunflowers in it. So hopefully they'll like this just sunflower mix, black sunflower, I don't know. We'll hope for the best. Gilly likes to watch the birds out there, that's why I do it. <laughs> and then we got this storage bin, I was thinking. And then I just noticed this is not going to work for how I wanted it. <laughs> Fuck. I wanted it to like go under the shelf kind of thing. That's what I thought I was buying. My bad. But instead I got like an over the door thing. Well. Fuck. Maybe I'll still find a purpose for this. I'll put this in like our extra stuff. Maybe in the tiny home it'll come in handier. Um. Moving on. That's all I got at the dollar store. It was like eight bucks. Or tw 12 bucks or something. And now I'm going to go to Winners. 
I got this little treat bag. Um, it was only a dollar. They're doing final clearance right now, which is like triggering for me because I used to be in charge of the final clearance stuff. And like, I was like the, not in charge, but like in charge of the people on the markdown team, basically. Telling them where to go, what to scan, how to scan it, blah, blah, blah. I think this is pretty cute though. I'm gonna open it up. What is this? That's it, eh? So, apparently it holds quite a bit of treats. And it's sealable, like a Ziploc bag, but it's reusable, and I have a cat on it. I'll probably put cat food in there, or cat treats. I don't know. For a dollar, I was like, why not? And it was originally eight dollars that winter, so that's quite the savings. I also got my friend, who I got that bag for, and the card for, I also got her this little mushroom uh, mug. I think that's super cute. She owns, or partly owns, a um, shop called Porcini, which is a kind of mushroom. So when I saw this, I was like, she needs to have that. It's as simple as that. Um, <clears throat> so now it's stuff for me from winners. I got myself caramel syrup for when I make my own iced coffees. This is a caramel iced coffee. And it has oat milk, so I might have to get oat milk if I like oat milk. I don't know. I can't decide if I want milk or oat milk or what. Or almond milk. I'm actually not... I don't love any of them. But I, I do love milk in my coffee. Some kind of milk. I just don't have a preference. I do think oat milk has a bit of a sweeter tinge to it, which is nice for me. And it also... I've heard it's healthier for you. But I also hear it's not that healthy for you, so... I'm not sure. Um, what else? <clears throat> At Winners, I also got, these are really ugly color, and they're like skin colors and weirdness, but they are the softest things I've ever bought in my life. And I have a pair of, I have two pairs of leggings that are this brand. It is Offline by Airy brand, and they're size large, and I'm usually size medium or large in the butt, and a medium or a small on the top. And that is different than it used to be. But anyways, these were $5 on sale from 20 And they're just like short shorts, but not that short. I actually bought them because I have a lot of short shorts. But these are a bit longer than short shorts. And they were only 5 bucks, So I was like, fuck it, why not? And then we got a tank top. <clears throat> this is a nice little tank top. It has like a little tie at the bottom there. And it's Kyodan brand, which is a good brand. I have a lot of tank tops that are Kyodan brand. And it was also $5. $5 make you holla. <laughs> um, yes. It's very see-through. Um, <clears throat> but I don't care. Also got this. This one is Yogalicious, I think. Yes, Yogalicious. It's a crop top. It's also a really good brand. And this one was $5.00 as well which is nice I like the crop top of it I don't have any pink crop tops which is cool I like this color of pink a lot too I have like some hot pink stuff but I don't love how it looks on me I prefer like light pink soft pink like the pink I'm wearing I got this thrift shopping and it's really really thin and really really cropped so I need to wear like a high-waisted shorts or pants when I wear it <clears throat> and then I got two more shirts I got another yogalicious crop top pretty much the same thing as that one but this one's black and this one was three dollars. That was the selling feature, basically. Can you see that? Three dollars. How dope is that? <clears throat> so I got three tank tops right there, and here's the fourth one. And it's so funny, I actually own this exact tank top, and it's Kyodan brand as well. So I have this twice now, but I actually bought this when it was full price at thirteen bucks. I was like, at the time, that was a good deal, but I just found it for three bucks today. So I got it again. It's a really nicer material. It's like a like sweat wicking material and it has like vertical stripes sort of thing. I love it. I wear it all the time. So I was like, sure, I'll have another one for three bucks. So that was my little haul today. And what else? <clears throat> the next one will be the thrift stop. Thrift shop. So I got 
this little teapot thing, kettle, I'm not sure what this is, but it's clean and I like it and the color is awesome and the style is really pretty and that's fun and cute and it doesn't look to be damaged at all and it's exactly what I was looking for honestly. Like I went out today and I was wanting something to make my iced coffee with. I hope that'll work, I'm not totally sure, but I'm gonna make either like boiled water in that and then add it to like a pour over coffee filter thing and then add this syrup after or whatever. I'm not sure how it's gonna work or go down, but I'm gonna make it work. It's gonna be a thing. Next thing I got at the thrift store was this creamer thing. <clears throat> Pardon me. I hate when they put stickers on like crystals. Like, suck my dick. Okay. I got this little creamer pourer thing. It has pretty intricate like stars on the side and it's really thick crystal so I thought that was kind of cute <clears throat> and at the thrift stop thrift store thrift shop I don't know what I'm doing why am I saying it like that and I couldn't decide between that last one I showed you and this one so I was like fuck it get both girl this one was only $1.99 and it's like a very cute little creamer pour thingy so both of these two things need to get de-stickified by Devlin. He's really good at that. Aren't they cute? Um, <clears throat> and I got the last two things are whoop, four mason jars because I want to put more of my stuff in mason jars. There's four. Four mason jars for three bucks. Which is not bad. They don't look used at all which is nice. <clears throat> Nothing like nice, clean, fresh mason jars. I also got this little basket and it was kind of like a spur of the moment last thing I saw and it helped me carry my stuff out of the store which is kind of funny. It barely fits together. There we go. I might have fucked it up when I was holding all my stuff in it. But it looks cute to have like, I don't know, like sewing stuff in or anything like that. I don't know. I think it's so cute. I'm not sure what this material is. But I like the pink and the blue together. So yes, I have this now. And I also got these two torch lighters. Oh my god, they're harder than I thought. No! What? 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 Why is this not working? Do I have to do anything else? Am I doing something wrong? Why is this not working? No! Okay, well, clearly I have to take one of them back. Shitty. I was there like an hour ago, and now I have to go out again, and I wasn't planning to go out. Okay, well, I guess that's what I'm going to do now. I'll smoke some more weed, and I'll go back to the weed store that I was just at, and tell them that they gave me a lighter that's not working. And, okay, I guess that's the end of this video. Have a lovely Wednesday? I think it's a Wednesday. Have a nice rest of your summer. Enjoy every part of your day. Spread positively if you can. Positivity if you can. Because this world fucking needs it. Bye.